This presentation is based on the original PDF uploaded on eLearning. Good day everyone. Welcome to the second part of this No SQL video series. This time, we are going to discuss about Key Value Database, which is one of the four types of No SQL database. So, let's begin. Now, the Key Value Database is the simplest No SQL database wherein every single item in this database is stored as an attribute name or key together with its value. So there's a key and you will get a matching value. You can have another key and you will get another associated value. Again, there is a key and a value. If you have a key, you will then get its associated value. In a key value database, data is stored as a collection of key value pairs, as what was emphasized earlier. The values can be integer, numbers, a string, names, address, or complex data types such as sets of data, and it can be files or videos. The key in a key value pair must be unique, and again, you cannot get the exact match if there will be duplicate keys, right? So in key value databases, keys must be unique. Now to retrieve data, you must have the exact key. So data is retrieved via an exact match on the key. Now, one advantage of key value database is that new types of data can easily be added to the database as new key value pairs. And with this, here are the three operations performed on a key value database. The first operation is put. Put adds a new key value pair. As you can see, oops, let's go back. As you can see in here, Put adds a new key value pair. You pass a key and a value to the table. Or put can also update a value if this key is already present. The next operation is get. Now, get returns the value for a given key if it exists. So we pass a key and then we will then get the value with that associated key. The next operation is the delete operation. So delete here removes a key and its value from the table if that key exists. So we pass a key and once it is found in the table in this key value database, it then removes the key and its value. Now, now here are some examples of key value database management systems. We have Redis. React, and Oracle NoSQL. And there are also other database management systems for key value databases. So how do we make a schema for a key value database? Here is how. Consider the student relation given below. So this is a student table, and it has three columns, or three fields, or three attributes, and this table or relation also has two rows or two records. One record for the student named Ahmed and one record for a student named Wafa. Now the above student relation is represented in key value database schema as follows. So here is how it is um, being done in a, key, in a key value database schema. This, is, this would be the new structure in a key value database schema. These two entries here are coming from this first record. The next two is based on this record here, the first record about Wafa. Now let's get into the parts of this schema. The first part in this schema is the key. And obviously, the next part would be the value, thus key value database, right? <laughs> The key is kind of a complex. It's not an ordinary key. As you can see, there are parts, right? This 
you might have an idea already as to what this one is, right? So let's get into the parts of the keys and then also the values. So the first part of the key is the table name. And then you have um, the colon symbol, colon, dot, dot. And then the primary key value for, for a record, for one record. And then a colon and then the attribute name. So this will form part of the key. Then the next part here is the value. You have here an equal symbol and then the value. So key value. Now, let's consider again the student table, the one that we have in the previous slide. So here is how we convert. So the first record, we will have two entries for this one. Okay. And the next record, another two. Okay, this part here is a key, and the next part is the value. Okay. So in this key value pairing, in this key, to be specific, in this key, student refers to the table name. So here we know that this is a student table. So this is the name table, student, colon, and then primary key value of the first record. So the first record is 16S143, so we follow it and put it here. Colon, and then the first um, attribute, or column, or, or field. So the first column or field here is SF name. We no longer include SID because it's already here, okay? We just put the non-key attribute. So we start off with SF name here. So this will form part of the key. Table name, primary key value, and then the attribute name. Again, this will form the key. And then you have the equal symbol and then the value. So the SF name of student 16S143 of the student table is Amen. This is the value, amen. Notice also that double quotes are placed in here because um, amen is a string and strings are enclosed inside double quotes, or double quotation marks. Okay. Now this is the next entry. Okay, this one is still for 16S143 for amen, but this time the attribute is phone s phone for the phone we're done with the sf name we're done with the first name let's go ahead with the phone so table name primary key and the next attribute which is s phone and then that forms the key and this would be the value the value for ahmed's phone is 9521475 this is for the phone of 16s143 now for the next record here notice same student table but this time a different primary key because this next entry here refers to the second record in the original relational schema in here so we have 16j7890 for the second record and then we follow again the attribute sf name again no sid here because it's already found in this key in this part of the key we only put the attribute the attributes of non non key attributes so we have sf name in here for the key and then for the value it would be wafa so we have here wafa sf name column the student's first name of student 16j7890 in the student table is wafa the second entry here is for the student's phone number of one six students phone number of one six j seven at ninety here and in the student table. So the value for that one is nine six six three one five. Okay, nine six nine sorry, it's nine nine six six three one four five. Okay. Again the first part of the key is the table. So you have here the table, student table. The next part of the key is the primary key. So these two here, these two entries refer to the first row. And these two entries here refer to 
the second row or the second record. So as you can see, this is 16S143 here and 16S143 here. But they have different attribute names. So the first um, entry related to the first record here is attributes name is S of name. And the second one is for the for the phone, for the student's phone. So those are the attributes. And this is the, the value. Ahmed is the first name of 16S143 in the student table. 9521475 is the value of the student's phone of 16S143 in the student table. Now, I want you to try to convert the relation given here. Convert the below employee relation into a key value database schema. So this relation here or table has one, two, three, four columns and one, two, three records. So I wanted you to try to convert this table or this relation into a key value database schema. So pause this video for a while and try it. So, are you done? Let's see the solution. Did you get this one correctly? This is for the first record. This talks about employee table, employee number 100, column amp name, and then the value is Laika Almamari. Again, another entry would be for employee 100 but this time for the employee address column and the value is Albatina Suhar then another entry for employee 100 but this time for the employee's birth date which is a value of 121 1980 and so goes for the next record and for the third one again this part is the relation name colon followed by the primary key, colon, followed by the attribute name, and then equal symbol, and then the value for that attribute. Again, table name, colon, the primary key value, colon, and then the attribute name. This will form the key, and then you have an equal symbol, and then the value for that attribute. So the next one would be for the employee address column and this would be the value and this one is for the MB date and this would be the value. Now all of these three are based on the first record of employee 100. And the second record here is for employee 101. So we begin again with the employee name and then the value, the employee address, and then the value, employee's birth date, and then the value. And this one is for the third record of employee, the record of employee 102. So again, you repeat employee name, and then its value, employee address, and then its associated value, and employee's birth date, and its value. Now notice that there is a table and the primary key value in here. This one will make the entry or the keys unique. So you have employee 100 amp name. And this is differentiated with employee 101 amp name. So as you can see, there is a difference here. This is 100, this is 101, okay? And this would be 102. So these are the online references for this video. If you have some questions, please ask in the forum on e-learning. The next video is about document-oriented databases. So till then, stay safe, be healthy, and see you in the next video.